Hello everyone, I am Kelly of Gaming and welcome back to another uh, racing video here. Today it is the iRacing IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge 2020 season to week 5. Um, this is uh, Porsche GC4 around this Netherton circuit and uh, yeah, very difficult track for me at least. And uh, here is one of my races. So uh, before the video starts, please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more racing content a special events like tomorrow at least for me um, if you're like um, in the European side it would be tonight um, if you're like American side it would be today afternoon probably so uh, yeah let's get this thing started um, so here is my qualifying um, I've been really struggling with this track I just as you can see my uh, iRacing Hall Up Guided series which I'm gonna have a card up on the top right if you are trying to uh, get faster in this track uh, I'm just really struggling with this track as you can see I got a slow down penalty there um, yeah this one is not my cup of tea and I am um, yeah for me, it's really daunting for this one. I just bought it, again, just for this series. And uh, so far, I just can't do where I should do, which is like, should be low 56s is my uh, target, but I can't do it. My best is like a high 56. So yeah, just really struggling with this track. And uh, well, I can't do anything. So. Here's my qualifying, as you can see, my first qualifying uh, invalidated because of a slowdown penalty. Cutting too much, abusing too much track limits there. But um, this final corner, as we head on to second and the final qualifying lap. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of promotion here. Um, the special event, the race for relief for hours of Phillip Island will be live I would say about seven hours later um, according when I post this which I think I know where I'm, when I'm gonna post this it should be seven hours later and it has like I already scheduled it so you should know um, what's the time uh, when I start live hopefully I wait I can wake up and uh, start the live uh, scheduled and uh, yeah don't I mean it won't matter just maybe a little bit less coverage because I'm not driving the first two hours it's Hamish and uh, yeah just clickbait out of it Matt Malone Jimmy Broadbent a lot of V8 supercars drivers and TCR drivers and uh, it's it's gonna be good fun it's very gonna be good good fun for that one and uh, yeah be sure to check that one out I'll probably uh, make it as a video very soon and yeah of course once it has uh, finished of course I'll make it to a video and I'll post it so um, be sure to check that out with that one out and uh, let's get back to this qualifying lap as we head to Brundle corner it's very tricky uh, left and then right I shouldn't touch that sausage curve there makes the car very unstable as this car is very nimble uh, very just compared to TCR TCR is just enormous ginormous this is very nimble very small like a Mini Cooper but uh, well yeah I haven't driven any car so I don't know how like those car feel but across the line we now and that's gonna set up as a P 12 I believe or P11 or P12 P12 but at the end that would be a P13 we're not Radio that Jack. competitive as you can see 16 and uh, yeah I, I, well, I mean 16. I can't do much there's like 5.2k I rating here drivers what can I freaking do yeah so um, it's a very hard track for me to get the hang of it and be uh, super competitive but um, yeah still learning this car especially the cold tires uh, I've actually two 
tweak the setup for this one a little bit as we go, go, go. Um, the lead has had started and uh, surprisingly getting a fairly, fairly good start um, off the last corner here. Break a little bit early. Just want to give space to the inside car. Uh, the car's acting a little bit weird. I'm not too sure. Just, yeah, not great on the input of the steering input. So the car dives right. down the inside of me, I just give him a Gorgeous lot of space, right. as you can see, he's going ahead. I'm trying to sneak right up on side. the inside here, let's see if that is that's going to work. Clear right. And up yeah, just backs out, I don't want to risk it, and uh, backs out of that a move there. So as we head to the next corner, and uh, sharp left hand hairpin. Well, it's not really happening, um, but sharp left hand turn, I would say. And uh, breaking quite early indeed, and uh, not suiting to the tyres right now. Um, the car feels weird at this point, but we're not losing that much pace, so uh, I guess that's good. So that's Williams into, uh, into the really straight, and here, yeah. <laughs> You can see my uh, expressions. Uh, that's a very big smile, like Danny Rick. And uh, yeah, I gained that place back. And there we go. That's an awesome one. He just killed himself. He just got. S he self sent himself into the Shadow <laughs> Realm without any Pontarino. And uh, well, that's that's the day for him. That's Thank end of the day. And uh, well. Bye bye, see you later. And uh, yeah. So, as we head to the final corner of the first lap, things are looking alright, I guess. We didn't lose any positions. That's the main thing. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, this isn't just. Uh, it's just really hard track for me. So, let's look at the replay. And uh, you can see I get a really great start compared to the car in front of me. And. Uh, actually breaking quite early there just don't want to kill anyone as you can see the steering input really weird you can see the car f the front of the car just yeah not great um, how it acts it's not great for the car not great for aerodynamics and uh, yeah it's just really weird I, I don't feel the, what the car wants to do but into turn 3 it backs out of this move because uh, I don't want to crash myself definitely because um, yeah usually if I'm being a little bit more aggressive I just crash just, that's just the way it goes for me so as we head to this uh, sharp left hander nearly a hairpin I'll say and we head to Hamilton corner nicely done can use a little bit more but of course cold tires just don't want to risk it and we're a little bit dropping off now um, to the cars in front of us and that's not great and uh, let's go to the straight and there he goes end of the day for him smacked into the armco and uh, yeah that's uh, that's into the shadow realm I guess and uh, yeah well what what can I do just um, Really, oh, I don't know. Really wacky I face. I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, whatever. Now, lap two, I believe, and here we get head on to the straight. And there's another car. Really killed himself. Braked a little bit, um, but uh, eventually they settled down, gained two places. But there's a very fast blue car, blue Porsche Left right side. behind us and I think I'm just not going to fight that and Thank I'll just let him pass and uh, well I gained a place so that's great um, yeah so let's look at the replay so the white car just absolutely unsettled and the pink kind of car pink and black, uh, white kind of car just uh, yeah just killed him killed himself uh, can't do anything you have to have you have to had really good reactions to avoid that and we are not super humans and we just can't do anything so uh, yeah that's about it so now uh, 
we are pressuring, as you can see, this car in front. In fact, he's actually 3.3k I rating driver, as we are trying to pressure him. And uh, yeah, just can't get a move. Just can't get a move. He's put his car at the right place at the right time. And I just can't get a move done. I can't do my Danny okay, Red Carl, dive bomb. Come on, stay focused. Uh, I'm actually Apexes quite good Apexes with Apexes dive bombs with this car, as you can see now, trying to make a move here. Um, late what Apex with this it? one, he didn't make a late Apex as really someone here. screams in the voice chat at uh, TCR. As I actually, I didn't go want to go for that move there, but um, yeah, he just breaks kind of uh, early there and I, I just nearly slammed into him but uh yeah so uh, actually things didn't okay, re Carl, like there's nothing going on the nine whole nine race so this is the final lap here and uh, yeah that 3.3k guy just gone away a little bit further up ahead um, still he's not that far uh, but we just can't catch him back we're just saying 57s very consistently uh, which is a great thing, but I should have like set 56s because 56s should like is competitive in my I rating, but 57s just aren't. And yeah, I just can't do anything else there. But yeah, here the sharp left hand turn as we head to. Hamilton and it should be Ogays, Ogays, or whatever that corner name is. Ogays, yeah, Ogays. Abuse, a little bit of curve, don't abuse that much. And then head to Williams. Take a late apex. Use a lot of exit patch. Don't overuse it as well. Head to the Bentley Straight, I believe that's called. And head to Brundle. Down we go, hug the inside curve, down to second, don't use that sausage curve, really nice, well done, uh, bumble, touch, just hug the apex, don't need to abuse it because you can't, <laughs> but um, yeah, final corner, quorum, and then final corner ahead of us, Verace, and sorry about that, but that is the race. And uh, yeah, it was all right, not particularly interesting, I would say, but it was all right. It was all right. And there he goes. Yeah, that is the race, Bring guys. So hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget, if you are free, go watch the um, the live stream um, coming up seven hours later, or s relatively, I think. And uh, I shall see you guys there. So uh, please smash the like button again. And don't forget to subscribe. Please click on one of the two videos on the left hand side of the screen. And I'll catch you guys there. Bye.